Assalamualaikum and selamat sejahtera. Very good morning to our lecturer and my colleagues. I am Muhammad Aziz Bikri bin Saifu Bahari from Dane 1A. Before I start my presentation, can you guys see the picture? Can you describe the photo? Yes, this is the correct answer. All of us love to have a well good, good bodies or at least not to be obese and we have the right to think like that because obesity is not just a cosmetic concern. It is also a risk for some health problems such as diabetes and the high blood pressure. I'm sorry it's really like dangerous but don't panic. You can prevent your health problem easily and you can also lose your weight through change the life and dietary style, increase physical activity and so on. Okay, next slide. Um, obesity is that you have obesity is that you have a high amount of fat in your body, and from that definition, you can notice that obesity is not about more weight; it is about more fat. To understand this, you may weigh more because you are tall, and this is normal. Now you want to know whether you are obese or not, and this is the easy. All of all you need is um, to measure your weight in kilograms and your height in meters and then use this formula and um, this formula will give your body mass index or BMI. The obesity is diagnosed when the BMI is 30 or above. Now look to this table below to know more about BMI. And um, now with the BMI, you can diagnose yourself as an obese or not, but still one problem. Some people like the muscular athlete find their BMI higher than normal, when they most likely have a normal amount of fat in their bodies. And the answer is that the way more not because of fat, but because of, mus of muscles. Next slide. <coughs> This is a table of BMI. Uh, next slide. Next slide. Um, our daily body's activity need energy come from food we eat and more exercise and activity burn more calories that we get from food. And not just the activities need to burn calories. Also, many metabolic reactions in the body need energy from food, such as to warm up in cold weather and to sweat in the hot days. But when our food calories amount exceed the body need, they will be stored in the body as fat. So the causes of obesity is a combination of states and risk factors that work together to store more fat in our bodies. And this factor is include inactivity. Without any activity, you don't burn as much calories. And you need to have more exercise to burn the additive calorie. The second is diet. Some bad eating habits like high calorie diets, especially in the night or skipping a healthy breakfast and replace it by junk fast food. All of that increase the body fat. The third is pregnancy. So women after the baby is born have an increase in their weight. And if they don't lose their weight with many pregnancies after that, they become obese. The fourth is lack of sleep. This causes disturbance in the body hormones and increase their appetite. You can also make craves to high calorie food. Next slide. And like set two. After that, I will explain about the combination of obesity. Now is obesity dangerous? The answer is yes. And if you are obese, you are at risk to have one or more of a great number of obesity health problems. For example, is 
type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, stroke, poor fun healing, cancer and depression, and many other conditions. Moreover, the quality of life may be lower, and maybe and maybe you can do you can do everything you want and like as easily as you would like. You can join some family activities or you may feel some shame or depressed. Next slide. The healthy weight is the main goal for obesity treatment. And you can reach that by making a good treatment plan with your doctor and maybe a victim of nutritious obesity specially and nurse. This plan include dietary change, exercise and activity, um, behavior change, and weight loss surgery. Next slide. Okay. The prevention is always better than the treatment. And if you feel currently overweight or your body mass index exceeds 30, you need to start our prevention program. Number one is more exercise. 150 to 215 minutes of moderate intensity activity every week is helpful to keep your away from obesity. And these activities such as fast walking and swimming. Number two is eat healthy. Low calorie and fibers in low calorie and fibers rich food such as fruits, vegetables are good food to have every day. But uh, but saturated fats and sweets and alcohol are extremely bad. They increase your body weight and treat your health. Number three. Number three is monitoring your weight. Monitoring your weight and calculating your body mass index will be very helpful to know how your prevention plan work. Next slide. Um, the conclusion is, um, last but not least, the conclusion is obesity is a choice. It takes work and effort to stay in the shape, but it can be fun. You must eat healthy, stay active, and make good life choice. But healthy foods can be delicious. There are plenty for there are plenty of activities to do that are so much fun. An effect of eating at the fast food restaurant, eating all the calorie packed foods and the importance of encouraging healthy lifestyle for children. There are many problems in America today, but we can remove one from the list by helping to cut obesity rates in modern America. So now is question and answer. Yes. Um, hello. Yes. Um, okay. Yes. Yeah. What is your What is your question? Obesity yes, obesity plays a role in up to 30 of major cancer, such as cancer of the colon, breast, endometrium, kidney, ovary, and esophagus. That's all from me. Thank you.